Hello, this is our 2015 Itasca Soleil trim number 34T. Uh, we have had it for about six months and um, have realized that um, to accomplish what we need to accomplish and due to some health issues, we need to upsize. So this is a great coach. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Let me show you around. First of all, as we go around this corner, we use this for our wood storage, but this is a nice storage area. The tires are like brand new condition. Here is a control panel in here. The steps, we'll come back to that in a minute. This is storage, more storage, lots of storage in this coach. This tire again is in excellent condition. More storage here with your um, on off switches here if you want to turn the coach completely off to reset uh, with the surge guard. Our batteries, our house batteries here. As we come on around the coach, you'll also see that we have Schwintec slides. Um, these are very durable and um, they are um, an upgrade from the regular slides that uh, we had originally. Or not that we had originally, but that Itasca put on originally. This is a 340 horsepower. Itasca is made by Winnebago. It is a Cummins engine with a Freightliner chassis. Come on around. These are breakers. Come on around. This is our def tank. Um, you can get def um, over the counter, but it has a shelf life. You can also buy def at um, any of the truck stops, Loves, Pilot. Um, if you see, it has a half tank, and um, it doesn't use quite as much as, as diesel. Just be careful that you are putting in def and not diesel. This is where our power cord reel is. Again, this tire. This is our shower area, outdoor shower, um, whole house filtration. Um, this is where you hook up your, your water, water pump, etc. in this bay. Another storage bay here. Another little storage bay and then your propane tank. Um, my husband was going to put in a, um, a disconnect to be able to run our gas um, from here. But um, now we're going to trade it. So I don't know how soon that might be done. But you can do that. Again, this front tire. And then some more electrical here. The generator is inside this cabinet right here. It is a 6500 Onan generator. Okay, let's take a look inside. As you come in, you will see that it is a mid-door entry. And you walk right straight into the living room. So we will go on in. While we're entering, I'm going to go ahead and put out the awnings. So you can see what it looks like with the awnings out. Lots of lighting, lots of windows. It's a very bright, happy looking coach. All tile floors throughout. I have to do that in a minute. I think my coach has to be on for that to happen. And I can do that in a second. Right here in this entryway, um, this is carpet. Excuse me. This is carpet right here. But if, in case you're having a rainy day, you can take the carpet off and you have rubber mats there 
on both steps for that. Also, because we have little grandchildren, we, uh, my husband made this cover that fits nicely on here so that there is not a chance of any falling or slipping. Also, if you need some extra seating and the door is shut, of course, you can bring in a lawn chair or what have you. This is the fireplace and television with storage above it. This is the cockpit. Um, both chairs swivel around. The passenger seat, as you can see, has a footrest and also a desk that comes out that you can use to um, eat if you're going down the road. You can use it to work on your computer, whatever you need to do there. It has Sirius XM, Pandora, Bluetooth. There is navigation here. This is the cockpit. Your controls over here. Front power shades. All these windows have day night shades. This is a nice area here for your passenger. Some storage up above. Inside this cabinet right here, you will see, you will find the connection for the Wine Guard um, satellite that you can turn off and on. We'll come on across and more storage. Also, above the cockpit, we have. Let me turn it on. Sorry. We have a loft bed. The grandchildren love this bed. As you put it down, the light comes on automatically. It's a nice little sleeping place for them. You will see up here that there are hooks because there's a privacy curtain that hooks up there to give whoever happens to be sleeping in this bed gives them some privacy. Our couch is a U-shaped couch. This side comes out as well as the other side. I just wanted to give you an idea of what that looks like. It is a U-shaped couch. Lots of storage up above. Nice woodwork. A pantry area. And under this pantry area is a little cubby. And that is where the table is. This table will come out. It fits perfectly right in the middle of that U-shaped couch. Um, you can expand those wings if you would like, and it will expand the entire length. There is the cabinet on this side and also on the back side of the table. If you don't want to use the table, then it doesn't have to be out and in the way. This is the kitchen area right here. This part will go in. The slide comes in to the sink. Have a stainless steel sink on both sides of stainless. Both sides are stainless. Cabinetry above, Corian countertops. Microwave convection oven. See, these are Corian countertops. Here is our three burner gas stove. And then storage here in the kitchen area here's your control panel it controls everything that you need to control right here 
This is the bathroom. Here is the refrigerator. It is a single door Whirlpool refrigerator with a freezer, with an ice maker, and the regular refrigerator part. Here is the bathroom. Shower has a little stool, a little sitting area for you. And a fan up here for exhaust. There's also a fan up here over by where the stove is in the ceiling for exhaust. This coach has a washer, a stackable washer and dryer. And then the bedroom has closet space, drawer space, more storage area up above, more storage area, the TV in the corner, queen size sleep number ideal rest bed, uh, it is dual zone, and the privacy door closes, come shut. Again, full tile throughout the entire coach. A nice, oh, no. A nice full-length mirror right there. <laughs> now let's go and see what it looks like with the slides out. I mean with the with the slot with the awnings out. Take just a second. Your key must be off for the awnings to go out. That's another safety feature um, that um, Winnebago Itasca has so that these won't get bumped if you are driving down the road. Your awnings will not get bumped and will not um, go out. They do not have wind sensors. However, you can adjust them. One is a six foot awning. The other one is a 16 foot six inch awning. They're like brand new. We have LED lighting underneath. And I will show you out here. I'll take a picture. I'll show you out here what it looks like from outside coach. That's what your awnings look like outside the coach. Um, we have slide toppers as well. And over here on this side where we do not have an awning... That is still a slide topper up there that protects that slide. We have uh, cameras in the rear view mirrors for side cameras um, that also have um, heat and defrost. There's also a backup camera in the back. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this coach again. We just want to upsize. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us, to text us, or to email us. And we'll be glad to show you or answer any questions you may have. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our video. Have a good day. Goodbye.